Today, I'm going to show you how to safely use the man bucket on your Royal truck. But first, let's go over a few important safety tips. Number one, never ride in the man bucket to and from the job site. The man bucket is only to be used during a work operation and never for transportation. Number two, never climb on or over the safety hoop or swing gate. The hoop is to provide protection while inside the bucket and should never be stepped on because this could cause slips, falls, or damage to the equipment. Lastly, make sure your latches are completely secured before beginning operation. You should have a minimum of a quarter inch clearance on your dual spring pin, which can be checked on the inside of the toolbox on your 60 inch man bucket. If you have a 33 inch man bucket, this can be measured on the outside of the shell. Now let's go over how to properly enter, exit, and secure the bucket. Before we can do this, we need to make sure the swing gates are latched open and secured. Start by unlatching the lower swing gate using the dual spring pin and swing the gate towards you. Next, lift the man bucket lid and make sure it's securely latched to the bracket on the man bucket post. Now this is the most important step. Pull back on the dual spring pin, line up the pins with the slots, then release the pin to engage it. Push on the gate to make sure the latch is completely secured. Next, pull the pins inward on the safety hoop to adjust up or down until the top of the safety hoop is at your waistline. Once it's at the right height for you, release the pins to secure the hoop. Give it a tug to ensure it's engaged. And now we're ready to work. Remember that improper use of the man bucket can lead to serious injury or even death. Always use the man bucket properly to ensure your safety.